Hey everybody and welcome back to Colin's Crazy Creatures. I am in the snow and it's hard to believe that it's the middle of March and I'm holding a Luna Moth cocoon. And the instructions say to keep it in the cold until at least April 15th. So currently it's snowing and it's not time yet so we're going to keep it in the cold and once it's time and the Luna Moth hatches we'll make the video. These are the instructions that came with the cocoon. We follow the instructions and put it in this butterfly enclosure, which is big enough for it, and put a branch in it so it has something to perch on. Unfortunately, we were away at Disney on vacation while it, when it came out, so we didn't get to see it, and now it is very old and very close to dying. But while we still have it, let's talk about Lunamon. Luna moths are in the family of moths known as giant silk moths, and their scientific name is Actius Luna, and they're also known as the American Moon Moth. They are a light key lime green, as you can see, with brown spots and a white body. They are quite a large moth, getting 3.1 to 4.5 inches in wingspan. They only live for a few weeks, as adults because they can't eat because they don't have mouths but the caterpillars can live for quite a while through the five instars before they pupate after they emerge from their pupa they can't fly right away and fill up the sun dry and warm up their wings and pump them full of fluids their sole purpose as adults is to mate and then shortly after they mate they die the difference between males and females is the males are a bit bigger and have bushier antenna. This one is a male. They're primarily active at night and only breed around midnight, which is why they're called Luna Moths and are not commonly seen. It is unfortunate that we couldn't see the moth come out of its pupa, but since it has a lot of energy since it did fly to this branch, we are going to leave it in the environment and hopefully it can find a mate so it can lay eggs before it dies. And it was really fun to see this really reclusive moth in person. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and see you next time on Colin's Crazy Creatures.